this is the guy <laughs> yo for free nje no 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 paid <laughs> advertisements <laughs> happened here no paid advertisement nje is because we drink it it's a, uh, it's a good thing if imagination is in this thing it does share it too imagination let's allow us promote the other shop that we post this container from <laughs> I will not mention its name. You can spot my sa. I'm ready for you. Okay, good and genic shot the magic bitch to Anna. Last number got the eat to pin to pala. Pull up in a trans in a matushukana. Itwala. Okay, I will not mention its name. You can spot my sa. I'm ready for you. What's up, Lelo? How are you? You go by Lelo, man. Lelo, Halalelo, the nail god, Lord Mada, that is me, and, and that is what I am known for. I am the queen who makes you feel like a queen yeah, and a king. Oh, oh yeah, I was about to say. I'm and a king. <laughs> and a king. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I cater yeah. for all genders. Ah, I accommodate out, everybody. Out. I don't discriminate. Shut that out. is me. So, very you about the uh, what? What do you call a beautician? You a beautician, guys, guys. Well, my niche is nails. But I also uh, doubled, uh, just tapped into waxing. Mm. So you guys, let's come so I can remove your hair. Damn. So you wax from the way. roots, so you can look fresh at me. You wax everything. <laughs> everything. So, everything. I wax everything from your head to your toes. Doesn't it get nasty though, like waxing? And shit? Mm, I think people who come to wax know they come into wax, so you're not gonna come there. With shit in your bum and <laughs> and stuff and come in your pussy, you know you're gonna do that. You know yeah, you yeah. come into wax, and even if you do happen to incur those things, we we do provide services that can help you feel yes. Yeah. And you know I don't have to tell you like, hey, here's the weight wipe. Please wipe yourself. You see it, and even if you don't see it, I'll definitely let you know that. Here's a weight wipe, please just... <laughs> so you won't... I just before. make sure that we avoid drama before it happens. I don't like drama. It's, I know I, I seem like a dramatic person, but I don't like drama. Has it happened before, like drama? With, with, with waxing? Yeah, with anything, like... With nails, yes. With waxing, it was not drama. It was a sad thing. So I was waxing a client, and then she told me she had cancer, and I cried during her appointment because I... Ah, I'm a weak-ass bitch. Yeah. So, yo, she made me so sad, and then I gave her a double discount because I was sad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like she's got stage four cancer, and it was so sad. Like, like she's telling me that radiation doesn't help. Can I get in chemotherapy? Whatever. Nothing helps. So she's just literally waiting to die. That's so sad. Damn. You... So I will make the appointment so soon. I'm going to see her actually this week. Shit. Mm. I know this is kind of... Sexual <laughs> harassment. The sexual harassment. Ah! I will... Uh, we're getting there. I will tell the. I will tell you about the sexual harassment case, but ask your question. It's not a case. I didn't open a case because... Uh, because of the issues behind it, but it was just a sexual harassment thing that happened. Yeah, yeah. But... Other than that, like really, we take protocols. We've got lawyers. You know, we've got things to prevent such things from happening. Okay, before we get into yeah. that, what's what's the the name of the business and? Uh my business or where I work. Oh, so it's two different things. Yay! Yeah. So, like, I don't want to do that because I don't want to drag the business name. Oh, I don't want to put them shit. in a in a in a in a compromising situation. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. let me not say the name of the business. Okay. Where I work. I can tell you my, the name of my business. It's Lelo's Mobile Nail Salon. Okay. But I will have to get permission from the other parties of the other business, you know. Yeah. I don't want to be sued. Papaya X is a real thing. Okay. Yeah. So let me ask for permission from the other parties of the other business if yeah. I can disclose their name online. And then I will get back to you and tell you the name of the salon. Oh, so but it's a very beautiful salon and everybody should come. So the the sexual harassment and the the chemo thing it was it, it was a different the... two two separate incidences. So like I said, yeah, it yeah, was yeah. a client. She yeah. was a female. The sexual harassment one, he basically came for a massage, and then I helped him. And then during the process, he was talking to me inappropriately, telling me how sexy I look, and then uh, touching my legs. And I stopped. Once he started to touch my legs mm, mm. during, like he literally like touched my legs. I was like, what the fuck is this mm. shit? <laughs> So I walked out, you know, and then, 
Yes, he wanted a happy ending. Like <laughs> it's a whole thing. I'm trying to cut out stuff. This nigga is trying to take out all the shit. Yeah. <laughs> mm. taking out. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Who are you? Uh, I'm looking for Kaza. Who are you? <laughs> I'm looking for Kaza. Hey, it's not bad. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm in the middle of my shoot. Hey, he's not bad. We have the support. We have it. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, support. I'm so sorry as I was saying yeah. so this guy touched me inappropriately during our treatment and then I told him that he's inappropriate and then he was like he wants a happy ending come on he's naked you're not supposed to be naked for a massage guys don't get naked oh what happened don't take off your underwear we don't want to see your private parts Oh, because when I watch like movies and series Mm-mm. and stuff, like. Be not selling sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I watch movies, like, I, usually they go to a sauna. I don't know first or after, but like, I think first and then after the sauna, they get a massage. Yeah, like that. Abana, that's like the kinky stuff. It was really crazy. Rena, yeah. if you're gonna come book for a massage, that's what you're getting. A yeah, massage. Yeah. Don't be asking for things that we do not provide. Mm. I am not going to give you a happy ending. I don't want to touch your dick. I don't want to see your dick. Keep your dick to yourself and your partner and whoever else you show it to. <laughs> <laughs> don't show it to me. Yeah, I don't want to see your dick. Yeah. Okay? So, so that's sexual harassment, by the way, guys. Do you know that you could get arrested for even solicitating sex to people? Like, you yeah. add a massage and then to get to you, now you want someone to just provide services that were not part of the package. That solicitation of sex, that is a criminal offense. Don't do that. Okay. You're making yourself weird and a loser and you're making us uncomfortable mm, mm. don't do that just enjoy your money and what you paid for yeah mm, like let's all be happy don't make yourself a creep so Ganti, what did, did was this guy like did he did he ask? like he literally came there looking for sex so did he know like you work there or like something? Did yes. he find out about the the thing about from you? He saw or... like we do lashes, nails, massages, and waxing. Yeah, blah 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 yeah, blah blah. Yeah. He saw. He read what we do. He yeah. saw what we, the services we provide. Because what I'm trying to find is 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 it like a guy that maybe was was into you or something and then actually thought, okay, no. Th- let me go to the no. Yeah, what happened yeah. was I had only started working there that month. It was my first month of working there. Yeah, yeah. And then apparently he had come there like prior, like mm. two months prior. Mm, mm, and then he asked for the same service. But I'm jealous. You know, we don't provide that pro- that service there. And then he left. So they knew about him. So this girl that I was working with, she no longer works there. Yeah. Disclaimer. You know, like my my boss is great. Like I have a work, I have a healthy working environment right now. Yeah. Everything is perfect. That's why I don't even want to mention the company without getting permission from the owner mm. because she's a good person. The the shop is a good shop. Everything like it just everything deserves a second chance. But not that guy. <laughs> No. So, so so basically to answer your question, I'm yeah. sorry for interrupting you. Yeah. He came, he he I think he's a sexual predator, but he came there asking for a happy ending. They told him that they're not gonna be able to provide this for him. Then he came back a few months later and Gandhi, I'm used off. Oh. So this lady who was working there doesn't tell me that this guy is banned from the shop. Instead of telling me that she's like, I don't wanna massage this person, you do him. I'm like, Oh, okay, no problem. Mm. You know. It's a client. We cannot disappoint a client. Why wouldn't she tell you that? Because she's a crazy bitch. That's why there's no other reason why you wouldn't tell another female to look out for a sexual predator mm-hmm. because you're mm-hmm. fucking crazy. There's no other reason, honestly speaking. Yeah. It means you're heartless and you're stupid and you're an evil person. Yeah. That's it. And I don't give a fuck if she's watching me and what she has to say. <laughs> she must come say to my face. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I think happened. So this guy in jail, after he said what he said to me, I left him. God, don't go think I'm, uh, nah, I'm not going to be able to deal with your whack ass shit. Bye, bitch. I went out. This is what happened. How girl now she's acting like she's shocked. So did you and the, the female have problems before? You and the I had just worked there for two weeks. Damn. I don't know these people. I cannot have problems with you if I've been working. Yeah, like, yeah. I just met you two weeks ago. Like, what kind of problems do we have? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I hear you. Yeah. 
So yeah, it was the thing, like it was a thing, like the boss went back, like she was so serious. She was like, do you want to open a case against them? I was like, yes. Then I was like, you know what? Let me not do it because it's going to drag the company and the company just opened. Mm. And now it just seemed like drama and drama and drama. Yeah. Let's just ban him from the shop. And then so I can protect myself and protect all the ladies around us because we are a beauty shop. We work with a lot of females and we are a lot of females in the shop. Yeah. So we don't want to be put in compromising situations. How many workers were there at the shop? We are six workers, uh, including one male. Oh, what does he do? Security? He's a barber. No, he's a barber. Uh, okay. And also, yeah, he helps with the security, but he's a barber. Okay. Like, he's a very good barber. And he does pedicures too. I just taught him how to do male ma- manis and pedis. Mm. So, yeah. So what did he do when he found out? Like he wasn't the there. Thing? That day oh. it was just me and the the little girl. Ish. I shall not mention. So her the other name. workers also weren't there. Everybody was off because we used to have like this other schedule that doesn't make sense. But now everybody's always at work. Yeah. Now we don't open Sundays and Mondays, and everybody's at work from Tuesday to Saturday. So we can all help out, and we're getting busy, you mm. know. So we all have to be there because we're getting busy now. Mm. We're making money. There's no time to play. Time for play is fucked up. <laughs> it's fucked up. So, like, wh- how did you find out about, like, the the nail thing, the being a beautician, and what were you doing before that? And yeah. Okay, so uh, I got into nails when I was 12, 12 or 13. Mm. So my friend told me that her sister had done her matric dance nails yeah and she was like oh my god you know it's been a month and my sister still has her nails on and i'm like you're lying because remember what i knew back in my day when i was in grade eight seven the stick-ons from clicks and those ones those babies break in half here after two days they go they break in half so i was like you fucking lying to me there's no fucking way that your sister has had nails for a month there's no way you, you, you're capping. She's like, no. She paid 150. Go, mang, 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 mang. Go run up our streets. I'm like, oh, okay. Kyok, June. Saved up my lunch money. Everything. Went to the baby girl. Go run the bush. And I'm like, I want to do an acrylic set. Because I heard Kuti Huna Maziba, but acrylic nails. Not to put acrylic nails. And then it was this like um i don't want to say middle aged maybe she was more towards senior like she was 50 something years old white lady blonde hair she's beautiful you know like no wrinkles on her face mm. like oh nali did like she's kimo girl she's got her nails done her house is cute she's driving a mini cooper i'm just like this bitch understands like i so i'm just like i want acrylic nails she's like i right, boo, what you want so i just saw the the you know the cover of the nail tip box? I'm like, I want this. Because it just seemed so unrealistic to make. I'm like, I want this. Do this for me. And I'm here I am watching her get all her stuff. She's asking me how long I want my nails, what shape I want my nails. And I'm just like, girl, just do this on the paper. I just want you to see. I want to see this on my hands. Do this, then after that, we'll talk about when I come back for my next appointments and blah, 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 blah. Baby girl did my nails. As she was doing my nails, I'm busy asking her, what's this? What's this? Why are you doing this with this? What, what, what's this for? If this happens, that like, if you use that one and not this one, what's going to happen? You know, I'm such an inquisitive person. Like, I like, I don't want to be in the dark. Yeah. I don't like not understanding the things. I want to understand things. Mm. I'm not the type of person, like, if someone says to me, like, ah, Lelo. Me, I didn't do it because I didn't understand. In my mind, I'm just like, and like not even in my mind, out loud, I will ask you, why didn't you ask me so I can explain it to you? Like, how can you sit and not understand something mm. and you just go on with your life? Doesn't it bother you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you said you were, in, you were in high school at the time. I was in grade 8. Grade seven, grade eight. Yeah, I was in high school. Yeah, yeah. So I asked her, asked her, she told me everything, what happens. And then... I went to Lakeside the next day and I started and I bought a starter kit for acrylic nails and then I started doing my nails from the instance. So you asked her where to get the stuff or like No. Yeah. I just needed to know what she was using and what she was using as it wasn't using it for. Mm. Tell me what this is, what is it for, what that is, what is it for, why are you using this or that? And then I'll figure it out myself. Mm. That's what I did. So how did you find out where to get it? 
Oh, yeah. I went to a beauty store because I'm a girl and oh, I know yeah. where girls buy and girl oh, things. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's what I did. I went to go to a girl store and I bought, I just told the guy I want an acrylic set starter kit. So you started doing it on yourself? Or yes. You started like no, on myself. On Actually, it took me eight years to do it on other people. For real? Yes. But by then, people ask me, oh my God, your nails are so nice. Where did you do them? Oh, they were always asking you. People really always, that's how I started my nail business because my ex-boyfriend actually started it for me. Yeah. He yeah. wrote the whole business proposal, gave it a name and everything. Uh-huh. And then he was like, you know, you do such nice nails and your nails are always on point. At some point, my nails, my natural nails were this long because I would just build on it and build on it. Yo, and how do they get that long? You just don't cut them. But, but nails... right now, my nails are half of this length. The next time, next week when we shoot yeah. our third or second episode or whatever, they're going to be this length. So all your nails were that long? like this No, long. they were longer than this. They were three times longer than this. They were like this long. Because when you like get in the shower or you, when you wash dishes... Well, ta- yes, yeah. I used to wash dishes a lot. I hate washing dishes. So I love cooking, but mess, I... mess it up? It makes your nails... No, because I'm such a great nail tech. Yeah. They don't lift. They just keep going with the nail. They go forward, but they don't lift. Uh-huh. So what's better? Is it better to have natural nails or the... Um, Both. Yeah. In a sense, they may explain to you because you look so confused. Um, So... What this is right now is not my real nail. Uh, this is the tip that I put on. And then I filed it and I cut it and I shaped it to be the shape. And then I put something called hard gel. I pulled it on me. Then I cure it in an UV light. Mm. And then it becomes hard like this. But then it looks like all ruggedy and stuff. Then I file it down and shape it so it's smooth like this. And I put top coats. That's how you do a nail. Mm. That's, a, that's it's the same concept with acrylic gel hot gel, poly gel, mm. sculpturing. The only difference with sculpturing is that you don't put a tip, you put a plastic, a paper form underneath, like a paper form, and then you wrap it around your nail, then you build on the paper form to extend your nail without mm. using a tip. Mm, it's good and it's bad mm. because sometimes it doesn't last, especially if you have a short nail bed. Yeah. Then your nails are going to fall off, then you're going to think, I charged you 1,500 rand for nothing. Mm. Oh, that's that's how much you charge? Depending on the design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what's the then starting price? Then you're going to fight with me. What's the starting price? It depends what you want. Yeah. It yeah. literally depends what you want. I can't say, okay. What's the lowest price that you, you 250. Charge? 250, okay. 250. So that's for something really basic. No design. Mm. Maybe I'm nice and I give you two free designs, but if you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. Yeah. Yes. So the most expensive is a bomb. Doesn't end. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. It can be more than that because if you want me to come to you, then you're gonna have to probably book my flight, my accommodation, and everything. Yeah. It doesn't mean that I do people just around me. Oh, you're mobile then. I'm a mobile Lelo's mobile nail salon. Oh, you said that, yeah, damn. So if you are across the world and mm. you want me to come to you to come to your nails, then pay for my Flights, accommodation, transport, everything, food, everything. I saw you did some celebs too. Yeah. Yeah. So did they see on your uh, social media or like how did they find out about it? Okay. Uh, the other ones, they saw it on my social medias. The other ones, I had uh, contacted them so that we can do a collaboration. So yeah. it's half of houses. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You, you, you can't thank you the best all the time. Because there's always someone better. So you always have to, yes, you always have to collaborate with other people who are also good. Mm, So you mm. can learn something. Yeah. There's no, school doesn't end Mm. in life. Okay. You don't have to go to school. I'm tired of going to school. I want money. (laughs) (laughs) I want money. (laughs) I don't want to go to school anymore. But but I don't, I'm not saying I don't want to learn. Yeah. I want to learn. But I don't want to write exams anymore. I'm tired of being God's strong soldier. Yeah, back to, back to school. So before the nails, what were your talents? Or like, were you really smart? My talents. Or like, what? my talents. Yeah, in high school. Aibo, I'm doing nails. No, before that. That before was compulsory. That's, that's, cool. that's not a talent. It's compulsory. I yeah. have to do it. I have to do it so that I can be an honest student. I wanted to be an honest student, so I did everything. I oh, did so debating. Did. I did. I I stayed fed. I did. I did netball. I yeah. did. Softball. One day, I got a softball. I got a ball. It's like softball is like baseball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a ball. No. Nah. I got everything done. I'm like, I quit. 
Mate, I was just bleeding. I wasn't even bleeding. It was just so painful there. Yeah. I quit at that moment. <laughs> How did it hit you? Did they throw it? Or I was it? catching it. I was oh. like, oh, guys, I'm catching it. I'm catching it. And it, and I, and I missed it. Mm. And I did this and it went, oh. yeah, and it hit me right here. I'm like, you're supposed to like, I'm not sure. With the thing, with the, the, oh, you have the, thing. the things. Yeah. I don't have them anymore. That was oh, a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long time ago. Yeah, but yeah, I did yeah. have it with a softball hand. You were supposed to catch it and get with the, to the, the oh, mid, so you, the mid. Yeah. I used to play well, but I, I quit. Bangladesh, my whole but no, no, don't stop. I quit. I don't want to play this sport anymore. That's why I don't. These are the only things that I have that I did not choose. My mom pays me as a child. This is not a style. It's a scar. For real? Yes. I cannot tattoo. What, what happened there? My mother, according to my mom, I was a baby. I was three months. When I was a baby, she was walking past the door. That's what happened. <laughs> so I get out the pain. I don't have piercings. I don't have besides this. I told you I didn't do this by my own free will. I would never do it. Get some pain. I tried to get a belly uh, belly ring in high school. Mm. I used to have this one friend, <laughs> and she had a belly ring. I like things, but I don't like painful things. <laughs> I don't like painful things. So she was like, I'll pierce you myself. I'm like, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm strong. I'm a queen. I'm smart. Let's do it. Ah, no, 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 no. I, I, I even had the dot for three years where she was trying to punch at me. Hmm. Yeah, you know. So I don't like pain. Mm. I don't like painful procedures. My I chichi. want to do liposuction, but I'm scared because so you, of the pain. So you didn't get the vaccine? I did because I had to go out of the country. Boy, I like to travel. But now I'm drinking activated charcoal because they say we're going to die. The government is trying to end our lives. Where have you been, Ben? Let's talk about that. I've uh, been to Argentina, Mauritius, mm. Maldives, Zanzibar, Swaziland. Yeah. Shit, what were you doing there? Holiday. Damn. But Argentina, I went, I went to Argentina with mm. a, via a school trip, via a sports school trip. That's how I joined the netball team. So that's the first time you Because I wanted country. to go to Argentina and there was a sports trip and you needed to be in the sports team. Yeah. So I joined the netball team so I can go to Argentina. Was that the first time you were out of the country? No, the first time I was out of the country, I went to Mauritius. Dope. And then I went to Zanzibar and then I went to Argentina. Damn. And then I went to Yo, where did I go? <laughs> I think I went to Maldives. Got the bang she yeah, they went to uh, they went to USA, they went to Thailand. So I'm trying to think of the places they didn't go so I don't count. Yeah. So where did I go after then? Uh I think I went to so your passport is full, Nj. I've got four passports. I keep Yo. losing them. Bam, but they said double. Did you know that, guys? Don't lose your important documents. Mm. You'll pay double. Mm. Yeah, I've got four passports. Others were still in. Like, do you know I have a driver's license that I never went to fetch? And they let me smile on it. Mm. They let me, like, I was smiling on my driver's license. And then I didn't go fetch it because uh, I'm lazy. Like I told you guys, I don't like doing things. <laughs> I don't like doing things like a lot of things like so now you have to redo it admin yeah imagine that's worse most than it is teacher. it took me four years <laughs> um, <laughs> it was reminding me this morning that it took me four years to go and get a new bank card mm. because I lost my bank card yeah. and then we found it the same day I, I lost it then I cancelled it and then we found it in the car the same day after I cancelled it but then it was already cancelled. So I was just like, ah, I've got the banking app. I don't need a, I don't need a card. Ah, ah, ah. And I carried on with my life. I kept equality myself and ba 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 ba. Hey, mm. I got a job. I have to pay. I have to pay something important. I have to pay rent now. Now I now I change my phone. 
I have to update my app on the new phone. It needs a card number. I cannot card. I have to go get a new card after four years. That's now I have a bank card. Yeah, yeah. Like two. So, so was it because you didn't want to like stand in the long queues or what was it? You just lazy, baby. Yeah, I'm not lazy like that. Like you see, my house is white. Like, <laughs> I'm lazy, but I don't like doing things that I could be doing other things while I'm doing that thing for. Yeah. But like, I think I, I wasn't prioritizing it. <laughs> you guys don't know about me. <laughs> I think I wasn't prioritizing getting my bank card because I have my banking app. So it's the same thing. Mm. Your banking app is like a card. It just helps me not spend that much money. Because with my card, I just tap, tap, tap. But with my banking app, I go there, I see my available balance, I see my last spending, I get shocked. I go out, I lock back in again. I ask myself, thank yeah, you for coming. I mean, you guys look so cute. cute. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Piatin, you want the production? Back in the- Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, you edit the stuff out, ne? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Listen, carry on with your question. Cause I with with my card, I don't. I have the tap thing off, cause you know I'm just. Yeah, yeah, but you can. Okay, I don't have I don't have that fear, ne. Hmm. And uh, most of the time, my card, ne, it will also be some people about it. Doesn't pin. How for talking tap it pin? Can transaction? Oh, so it's. It, I get to go raise rabbi. According to how much money. I don't know. Sometimes I be, mind. sometimes I be tapping things for fifty rand and I can pin. Sometimes I swipe things for five hundred and I can next. Yeah. Oh my god, So yeah. you're right. I should switch it off. Actually, I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> so <laughs> my, the time I've that never get. I switched it off the same time. Oh. I get the same time. I realized Guti, I lost my card yeah. and I couldn't find it. I deactivated it. Oh. Okay. So okay. you can't even if you pick up my card, you're not gonna do much with it. Yeah. And yeah. even if. If somebody does that, it's fraud. You can report it. It's just mm. gonna you're gonna have to go open a criminal case and get a case number, yeah. and then after that, you're gonna have to process. go ask the. And you shop. don't like long processes. Uh, if I want to prove a point, I will take the long process. Yeah. Because people need to learn lessons. But you didn't for the the guy. Which guy? At the. We did. We survived. banned him from the shop. Mm. With the case, yeah. you know why I couldn't do it. I don't want to say it right now. You must edit this out. I couldn't do it because I wasn't qualified. I wasn't a qualified masseuse mm. right then. I wasn't a qualified massage therapist. And this girl knew that I wasn't a qualified massage therapist at that time. So she was like, no, you massage him because you've been wanting to practice. So do it. Here's a client. Gandhi, she's throwing me under the bus with a client that she actually knows. Hori is banned from the shop. And I didn't know that because remember I told you that this was my first month mm. of me working day. It was actually my second week of me working day. Nah. So it was just me and her working on that day. And she knew that I am not a massage therapist. She just heard me saying, I want to learn massages. I want to learn massages. I want to learn everything. I want to be a hybrid. I want to be able to do everything in the shop. Because everybody who works in a salon should be able to be to do everything in the shop. Like, that's how we make money. You cannot sit there when a client is sitting there waiting for a service to be provided if you can do it for them. Yeah. That was my whole mentality. So Umukel saw that opportunity. And then she was just like you do him. And I was like, no, I don't want to do him because I'm not a qualified massage therapist. She's like, oh, don't worry. It's not a big deal. With us, so with us, so with us, so with us, so If things get uncomfortable. Then she was like, if anything happens and you feel uncomfortable, just leave. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Damn, so so she, wh- she knew. <laughs> exactly. That's why I'm just like this fucking bitch. Fuck her. Fuck her. Like, she's a fucking <laughs> crazy bitch. But on top of that, like, it's crazy because she's a mom of three. Imagine. Like she's a mom. Like imagine yeah, if somebody she did. Like a child. She doesn't. That's why I'm no. just like. But they can still do that to boys. Boys get raped, guys. Yeah, we must yeah, not yeah. ignore the fact that boys get sexually harassed. Yeah, it's it doesn't matter girl. whether I'm a girl. Mm. I could have done the same thing to him. What if I touched his penis without his permission? Mm. I'm still sexually harassing him. Okay. It doesn't matter what your gender is. If somebody's doing something that you don't like. If somebody is doing something that you don't like. <laughs> you cap it if it was like if it was like a kafosti and stuff if like it was precious <laughs> if it was precious or rope nah I don't want to get cancelled <laughs> I don't want to get cancelled that's why you could put permission to mention my bit about 
yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to mention nobody's names. So for you, you have to go to school to be a qualified massage therapist. Apparently, but I can do it. So, like, where, which school? Where do, do people go? Like, uh, wants I heard out? about Camelot. I'm not going to be promoting schools that are not paying me. Let me tell you about what I did. I did mm. a become degree. So, I didn't do anything in beauty. Everything that I do in beauty is self-taught. Or oh, I've just upgraded right now and learned at work. The only thing that I actually went to school for, that shout out to my boss paid for, was waxing. No. Oh. That was the only thing that I can say, like... Oh, and I can sell Environ products. That's why I have such a great skin. Mm. Because I am qualified to sell skin products now. She mm. took me to that. She actually paid for it to, for me to go and learn. Like, the way you can sell L'Oreal, L'Oreal, Fenty, whatever, these things. It's not makeup. It's like, I don't believe in... I don't, I don't want to say I don't believe in makeup. Yeah. Because everybody's going to hate me. Yeah. But mm. I believe that you need to have a good skin. So that you don't have to rely on makeup. Makeup is a, it's an accessory. It's a luxury. It shouldn't be a necessity. It's not a necessity. You need to look good. Even when you wake up, before you bath, you need to look good. It doesn't matter. You cannot say, oh, I don't take any accounts before I bath because what they tell us No. That cannot be your self-esteem. That means that you're not in, in that problem hmm. with yourself. You need to love the way you look. Every time you look like a bitch, I'm hot. Yeah. I'm like, I'm just really me. That's how you should feel about yourself all the time. Because you don't have makeup on right now. No. Yeah. This so, girl did my lashes. So. Three weeks ago, and I was late for my appointment. That's why they're not full. That's she's here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm always late. I'm like, I have a problem, guys. I'm only I'm not, like I'm punctual. Now. If you say that I must be there at nine, I'll be there at nine. I won't be there. At five. I'll be there at five past nine. Maybe sometimes quarter to nine. But don't expect me to be there at eight. But oh. that's the thing. I'm about to get really deep right now. <laughs> get in. And what I wanted to add on to the the cancer thing is the power of the tongue, bro. You know, <sighs> is if you say I'm always late, you're gonna be always late. I'm trying to change that. Yeah. And, and 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 I always say like uh, like even my boss was like. Girl, when are you gonna stop being late? And yeah. I'm like, I'm not late. Technically, I'm not late if mm. we think about it, because mm. work starts at nine, and I get there five minutes before nine. But it shouldn't be that way. So you're supposed to get one hour before. Aye, three Aye. minutes. The contact you ask for is nine o'clock, right? <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, I would like to get there fifteen minutes before nine o'clock, mm. ideally speaking. And I try to, like, I don't, I try to not get there at 9 o'clock exactly. I try to get there 10 minutes before. What time do you wake up? (laughs) 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 No, I woke up at 7.45. Oh. That's why I'm late. Because I only give myself one hour to get ready. And by the time it's 8.45, I have to be at work at 8.45. Yeah, yeah. Come on, I live in a place where there's no taxis. Hmm. Are you saying that because of this recent strike? No, right? we live yeah. in a suburb where there's no taxis. Like, who fit the taxi after twenty minutes? Twenty minutes, twenty minutes. Literally, literally, literally. There's a shortage. Of, shortage. Short, I need to buy a car. Shortage. I need to get a car. A yeah. shortage of taxis. taxis. It is fine because it's fine. <laughs> Let me not get into the taxi industry. It's fine. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's fine. I'll just buy a car. You didn't answer soon. me with the with the question of the like where do you go to study for this? Like you said you went to study for waxing. So where I went to Limelight Depi Leave. Yeah. And my tutor was Tandega and she was lovely. So is it like a in a building or like what is it? It is. It's a they actually pro, they manufacture actually they get all the products that we use for waxing. So Depi Leave is a product that was uh Produced and established in Spain mm, mm, mm. by this professor who wanted to make waxing more comfortable, mm. and then he globalized it. So we are one of the few countries who actually provide Depi Leave mm. products and yeah. make waxing an enjoyable, Yo, painless. Switch off. Wait. Oh, it's still lele, 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 the, the, lele. the flash switched off. Ne? Doesn't matter. It's it's off. It's Give me change. I don't mind. I don't mean. Yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> 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 Mina, 
Oh, Miller, I'm bum, 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 bum. Or is it not? Yeah, it's still recording. Bum, yeah. bum. Yeah. Guys, do I look cute? Yeah, it's still. I look like a friend, right? Like, make friendly. I just touched it. Make friendly. Yes. Yo, fix your. And my booty's Audi. Right to me. Oh, man, it's time to blur man. Are you gonna blur them out? I have to. Ish. Too much. Uh, just, a, just a little bit of the areola. It's just a little teddy. <laughs> yeah. Can you guys call my son Mataria and the Dolce Gabbana, Fenteriana, for my mama? Yo! I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Yes! Yes, man. Why is it not going to go to the house? I'm going to go to the house. Yo, <laughs> this is why you can get a podcast every week. Why don't you make it? Get that lock. That's a bully bad thing. I wouldn't fucking talk to people. Yeah, now my mean the person. Even if my boobies were like not sagging, I don't even know my boobs are sagging because I don't even have kids. But fine, God made me like hey, this. It's fine. I appreciate it. <laughs> Girl, it's in my brown bag or in that. You don't have to edit it out. This is fun stuff. Is, yeah. Okay, ask your question you were asking me. Oh, yeah, you answered podcast. me about the, the school thing and the, the building of the wax. Oh, yes, yeah, and how funny. It's in Santon. Yeah. And then it's by the Eastgate section so, of Santon. Is, it, is um, there only one or there's many? Guys? There's many classes. The, the whole course costs 8,000 Rand and you mm-hmm. get a full kit. I'll send you images and videos of it and what's in the kit. So you basically get, uh, there's two types of waxing. There's three types of waxing, but they give you two types of the most common waxing, mm-hmm. which is strip wax and um, it's strip wax and what's and hot wax. Okay. Hot wax and yeah, it's hot wax and cold wax. Yeah. So hot wax is the traditional wax where you use it for like your intimate areas, like underarms, yeah, yeah. your brows, your 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 privates, uh, and she's nice. your private and your as line i don't know what is it called that whole your bum your inside your bum you're correct inside the whole thing oh the, the it's, it's, no. it's, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Hey, yeah hey hey so how long is the, the, the it was course, it was four days it's four days yes okay. it was four days i'm writing my exam i got 93 percent where's my phone oh you got my phone i, I got 93 yeah. percent for my exam I, uh, you said very good you were you were you know you were I'm smart yeah, like bruh yeah. I'm not just all cute and stuff uh, yeah, and doing nails yeah. and girl things yeah. I'm actually very intelligent so if you didn't do the nail thing what would you be doing like in the professional industry culinary I'm such a great cook oh yeah yeah let's talk about that actually yes I, I, I actually wanted to go to culinary school mm. but I couldn't because so my parents said no Oh. But it's fine because I understand their bigger dreams. They're like, you need to have a job that's going to be always there. Like, if, whether you go to Mars or Saturn or whatever, they're going to need oh, accountants. Oh, there's jobs in Mars. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, there's jobs in Mars yeah. and people live there and they need accountants and we need to be there mm. in the forefront mm. of the line, like recording numbers for yeah. other people. So I don't want to do that. So I want to make money for myself. I don't want to account other people. They money. wanted you to be an accountant. Yeah, because I, I I fucked them up and set them up for a higher expectation. Because you because I nice. wanted to be a doctor. Oh yeah. And then these bitches get applied. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. But before this bitch, you came to get applied. I actually did community service. You know, I did the whole thing. The 300 hours of community service in hospitals. Yeah, yeah. I was in surgery. I worked. I, I shaved ladies well before they went to C-section. You know, like, yeah, it removed drips and all of that shit. And then I just realized that I cannot get my nails done. When I found out that <laughs> nurses and doctors cannot get their nails done, I was like, I'm not doing this shit. Yeah. I am not going to be a doctor because I want to get my nails done. Yeah. I'm not going to fucking make 80,000 rand a month back then. That was like 20, 2014, 2015. No. When I researched, this was like 2010. Yeah. The doctors earned averaged 80,000 back then. Yeah, per month. Per month. Then I can't do nails. Mm. Were you going to tell me what to do with my money? 
and they work long Aye. hours, man, super long hours. Aye. I how, don't want to do that. Do they work? I want to have nails, and you're not gonna tell me that I cannot have nails hmm. because I can do my job. Yeah. They work twelve hours. Some people work twenty four hours. Others forty eight. Others seventy two. That's why they do. Let me not even say because come when I get old, nutty. So you basically don't have a life when you're a doctor. I don't know. I don't want to say that. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Yeah. I am just the nail lord godmother. I'm a doctor of your mind and your nails. So when and you're a doctor, you basically you got a big check, but you like you, you're you always serving people <laughs> who. I feel like doctors are overworked. That's why they don't want to work anymore. Yeah. They're overworked, especially in this country. They're overworked and underpaid. Yeah. They yeah. can't even get to do what they want to do with their money. Like, imagine you're making 150,000 in a month. They're telling you you can't drink, you can't smoke a joint. They're going to test you. <laughs> like, ah, your life is boring. Your life is boring. And I'm not trying to promote alcohol and weed, but I'm just saying like, you cannot make your own life decisions. You cannot have nails done, for yeah. example. That's not a harmful thing to your body, but you cannot have nails done because they're saying that it's a contract because it's already bacteria and what, what, and what. What, what and what what yeah. like i'm sorry i'm not trying to give up my life like that so how far into it were you before you were like i didn't even names? go i didn't even qualify <laughs> <laughs> you crazy yeah. no you need to go and make money yeah. then then my parents are like being accountants so i got into become yeah and i did it but I don't want to work in. I worked in corporate. It's depressing. The team sound. Or when that you know, your yeah, teams in this Zoom in anxiety. So you did seven years of studying. Oh wow, yeah, three years yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, it's a degree. Yeah. That's a degree. Yeah. yeah. Nah, seven years. Go school until one. No, well, that's more than high school. Yeah, yeah. That's grade one to grade seven. At least grade one to grade three. You play. You play. You play. You play. Mm-hmm. You play. Grade four. Yeah, you start. You know. Seven. Mm-mm. I'm not gonna do medicine. I decided to call it. This is crazy. How long were That's you? That's why I just told you I want money. I'm tired of school. Yeah. How long? How how many years did you do for the medicine? Three. I didn't do medicine. I told you that I didn't get accepted because oh, you didn't get accepted. I'm oh, crazy. Yeah. Yes, it was God saving me from that treachery of a life I would have been living. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey! I wasn't gonna be happy. I was not gonna be happy. Yeah. Ah, nah. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the the culinary. Mm. So you said uh, you didn't go to to the school. Yeah. So what did you do? How did you learn how to cook? Because you were supposed to actually cook me a meal. But I was going to cook you a meal, but you had to go cook other people meals. Yeah. <laughs> so don't even try to put this on me. And that's it. Don't play with me. Don't put this on me. I'm trying to cook you chow mein and some... I will not repeat whatever and like add on because I'll cook it for you another time, but not the same meal. Yeah. So to the day when you come... Bombastic meal. Mm. If I didn't know about being you know, because there were also the samosas that you, you yes, see, yes, uh, and the sauce friend, and whatever, yeah, yes, yeah. but it's fine. Yeah. They always make them all the time. I yeah, can always yeah. just, you know, promote their business because I'm all about promoting businesses, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. every type of business, small, big, you know, growing, starting, hasn't started, about to start, yeah. ending. Even if you're saying we are doing a closing closing sale. Yeah. 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 I'm that bitch. But mm. uh, with the cooking thing, I learned how to cook uh, from me. My mom is, my mom is, my mom is not a good cook, but she's, she can be a good cook when she wants to be. My mom can cook. Like I learned lasagna from my mom. She learned how to, she taught me how to make lasagna. And then I realized that's not the way that the Italians make it, but it's still lasagna. Mm. And I prefer my mom's lasagna, yeah. but with my twist. Because, you know, you got to elevate in life. You cannot just be doing the same old thing. Is it always like that? Because, like, my mom can cook, but my sister's better. So. My, my mom, according to me, my mom can cook. <laughs> yeah. It was just that one lasagna. And now that I can make lasagna, <laughs> I can make it better than her. Yeah. But my mom can cook, but she introduced me to things that I can take. Ha! Ah, in macaroni, me means meat. Mm. Na ma oven, cheese. Yeah, <laughs> can you a muslan sauce? Ah, uh, then I was like, oh my god. And then, like, I don't watch TV as you can see. There's no TV here. But when I did used to watch TV, I wouldn't watch like soapies and stuff. I'd watch cooking shows, Master Chef, Come Dine with Me, the Cooking Channel. That is my favorite channel. Crime and Investigation Channel. 
the cooking channel, music channel. Yeah, it's like, it's like, and the cook and the music channel. Those are my three. And TLC, mm. I love TLC. Those are my yeah. And the holiday channel, BBC, BBC Life. Mm. I'm that girl. BBC Life and E when E was still E. That that's going on right. I don't know what's you going on right now. E T V or E like the fashion. I give you guys SABC. Give you guys E. I give you guys SABC. SABC four. I give you guys SABC four. Give you guys E. Give you guys one two four. That's the E I'm talking about. When E used to. We want about John. John. Give me John Rivers. John. The one. Paris. Photosensitive light, you will get epileptic episodes. How shall we let show L? You're not in the case, but you. Wait, sorry, you were asking me. I forgot that. No, try to remember. You were asking me about the like my TV shows, when you keep saying when. Oh, I was saying like. Oh, also the Kardashians, they started on E, yeah? Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, so you started, you, you learned how to to cook from those shows. Because also my sister... The Kardashians can't cook? No, not the Kardashians. Oh. Like the cooking shows and all those Because <laughs> my, si- my no. sister also... Yes, I did. I don't want to lie. I did. Copied and you know what I used to do? Insane me used to watch that. Then yeah. I used to watch the Crime Investigation channel. Then when I was done with that series, I used to go cook what I saw on the cooking channel. Yeah, yeah. That same time, I used to cook at 12 o'clock at night mm. and cook my whole mini meal. How about to get you cook along? Get my food, I get fry, let's get a challah in, let's saw, let's saw. Get no okay. Get really master chef cook kitchen until five in the morning. Then I sleep the whole day. Yeah, so that was like when I started watching. The cooking channel. Yeah. And then I got fat and I was like, ah! and then I got one stretch mark. I never had stretch marks in my yeah. life. You were really thin, eh? No, I've always been a fat baby. I'll, I'll show you a picture. Even mm. for my aunt's wedding, my friend just sent me a picture. She's like, girl, what the fuck? Mm. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, where were you? And I'm like, I, I was like, I'm like, I'm at, I'm at my aunt's, I was at my aunt's wedding. Yeah. And then she's like, Oh, I thought you was a uh, matric dance. I'm like, I'm going to sing it. Then I sent a picture of my matric dance. And I'm like, yeah, but I've always had a mkaba. Like, I've never been a skinny child. I've, mm. I wish I was like that bitch over there. I wish I was skinny, small stomach. Like, if I had money, I would do liposuction and what, what. It's just that I'm, even if I did have money, I'm scared of pain. Mm. I don't know. But I'm sure you won't feel it. Hey, you're going to be sleeping. Sleep. Sleep. When you wake up, you're going to feel the pain. Oh, they feel it, man. How? We well, think if I cut you, you're not gonna feel the pain. I'm not sure if they. they buy, if I cut you and you bleed it, blood, yeah, when the numbing cream comes off, you're not gonna feel the yeah, pain. Yeah, you feel it a bit like when they, when you get uh, circumcised. I, I I've you, never gotten circumcised, so yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. what I can tell you is that I've had an operation in my womb, and that was painful. Oh, why? Even what is it for baby? Oh. No, my tubes burst. What? My tubes burst. My, Your tubes? my fallopian tubes, they burst. Oh, damn. Because I had cysts and stuff. Cysts? Yeah, yeah. I had a big ball forming yeah, in my yeah. womb. How, how does it form? What uh, it's an imbalance of your hormones. It can be caused by different things. Stress, yeah. pregnancy, birth control. birth control. But I wasn't on birth control. I was, I was 18 when it happened. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I wanted to talk about. Actually, I almost died, the, actually. I lost yeah. half of the blood in my body and I didn't realize it. I just thought I had a bad period and I was on my period every day for six months. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah. I started bleeding water. It wasn't blood anymore. It was water. I was pale, pale. You see how dark I am? Yeah. I was like, these walls, I was pale. When you do this, I didn't have red. I was just all white. Mm. And I went, to the, I went to my GP and I drove. And she's like, how did you get there? I'm like, I drove. like, I am a why are you driving? He's like, are you not facing? I'm like, I used to fade. Don't you fall? Like, I take a bath, fall, hit the hit the the toilets, wake up. After like thirty minutes, I'm bleeding on the floor. I've got a concoction, like crazy stuff, mm. because I was just losing too much blood in my body, and I didn't know. That time I'm skinny as fuck, and I loved it. I was like, I'm so bad. My diet is working. You know, I was so happy. Can't I'm dying when I go to the when I go to the doctor, my GP. Ari, ha, ha, she's in the car. Ari, ha, 
I'm so sorry, Baholo. You come and jump inside. Mona, what's up, Papa? I'm jumping inside. She's busy cleaning me. I told you I don't like pain. I'm so I got the cotton wool girl. I'm not feeling pain, but I'm crying because I can see what she wants to do. She wants to inject me with a needle. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to put a needle in my arm. I cried and cried and cried. I cried before she took my blood, and she had to take a lot of blood. You see, even now I'm just a trauma. I feel like crying. <laughs> No. It was a drama. Like, ah, she had to take like this much, two times mm. or three times. So, what was the cause of yours? Was it birth control or was it stress? My, was yeah, it? so apparently I was stressed. My hormones are not balancing because I was stressed out. I fuck out. I was shitting blood and everything. Why were you stressed? What was happening? Life. Was it the doctor thing or was it after that? No, apparently I didn't even know I was stressed or depressed. Apparently I was depressed. Now most people don't know when they're depressed. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I wanted to when when you talk when you spoke about the the cancer patient, I wanted to say that mm, she made me cry so much, yo. And I'm yeah. gonna see her this week. Ish. But to... she's so, like she's such a nice lady. Oh, yeah. And she's so awesome, and she makes really great cakes. Yeah. What bake? But anyway, ask your question. I'm so sorry for interrupting you. Fine, I'm so fine. rude, ne? We are no, you're not rude. We understand, we understand. So But I'm sorry. <laughs> so like the with most illnesses, it's not really like, you know, it's not that it's passed down from uh, you know, genes and stuff. It's mostly your environment and your mind, what you're thinking. If you're she thinking really had skin cancer, so, oh like my that. God, you're right. She had skin cancer from the sun. Yeah. She didn't have cancer from a genetic disp- disp- disposition. She had Shit. cancer because she was in too much sun. She went to the beach too much. She chilled in the sun too much. Yo, she's white. white. She doesn't have yeah, enough melanin like yeah, us. She, yeah. It's very rare. I'm not saying black people don't get skin cancer, but... Mm. White people get skin cancer more than we do. Melatosis, melanin, whatever. Mel- yeah. Melanin. It's a melanin deficiency that's causing you to die. And now she's telling me that it's covered all over her organs. Mm. That's why she cannot seek any more further treatments because yeah. she has seeked more than enough treatments that it's, it's, it's null and void. Mm. The cancer is on her skin. It's on her veins. It's on her blood. It's on her organs. It's every. It's on. It has formed. It attached itself to every cell of everything that makes her to be her. Mm. Besides her soul. So there's no cure. No, she's literally waiting to die. That's why I cry so much. And every time I'm gonna see her, every time I'm gonna be like, okay, this might be the last time I see her. This might be the last time. I, it's fucking scary. Yeah. It's so scary. That's my client. Like, oh, like I, I, I'm gonna see her this week, but I don't know if I'm gonna see her like next month or the mm. month after that because she's literally has stage four cancer oh. and she could die anytime. Yes. It's crazy. Yes. <sighs> but that's the thing with beauty. You see, yeah. it's to cover up all the bad shit that people don't see. Mm. That's beauty. It's literally so depressing. It's not depressing. It's just. Sad, because reality is so sad sometimes, mm. you know? Mm. But yeah, that's my one client. But I've got like, oh, my clients are going through the most. There's this book called Psycho-Cybernetics. So this guy, he, he's also like, a, he's a, a doctor who fixes like people's faces and stuff like that, you know? Who does those surgeries, those type of surgeries. So he says these type of problems that you're saying. Some people... They actually, uh, but he doesn't cry, ne? See, I'm weak. <laughs> nah, you. Ah, I'm a weak bitch. You're he doesn't human, cry. You're human, you're human. I cry all the time. I'll be crying while I'm watching an episode when I know it's fake. Yeah, I'll cry like <gasps> it's just touch my heart so much. It's very good to be in your emotions. I have to be because I see a lot of shit every day. Yeah, and it's crazy if you not. Reacting to it like I will struggle to when your heart is dead. Thank you. Yeah. Or maybe it's because like I haven't been in this industry for too long, but I think I've been in this life industry for long enough to know yeah. that I this is not nice. I what industry? Like the the the, the beauty industry. Yeah, yeah. To meet people who are telling you they've got cancer and they're not gonna survive. Fish. So it's no matter what. <laughs> 
So it's a lot of them. Like it's not only that. These people are okay. What the fuck are you guys doing? Don't do that. I'm so sorry. These bo- what the fuck are you guys doing? No, tell no, your hair properly. Tell your properly. I'm sorry, Ne. Yes. Sir. But this is the most lovely interview you've ever had, Ne. Please give him a refill. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, but it's a singer, but anyway. Yeah, but don't you want to give a refill? Closing now. Okay, when the just spilled my alcohol. And fix your face. I'm so sorry. Ah, see, better ones. Shut up, Lele. Even though I'm very bad, yeah. Are you good? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't even know good. This was beautiful, is but there's, there's going to be more of this. Tell them about what, uh, what we have planned. Okay, let me finish fixing my snotty face. Yeah. Has this thing been in the uh, yeah. Don't cry. I'm not crying, guys. It was just a very sad thing. And like, sad things make me sad. And I can't hide yeah. my sadness. You know? Yeah, yeah. When something is sad, it's sad. It's really sad. Like, yeah. It's really, really sad. Like, <sighs> I'm so sad for her. And yeah. the, the saddest part is that she doesn't even have kids or a husband. Like, she's just going to die and leave no one behind. Does your phone have space? Yeah, my password is. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna give it to you, but oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, oh, the still, streets still are nasty. Recording, yes, give it a kiss up on it. It's like on peel. It's like on Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You was telling are you gonna come here for dinner? Yeah, for dinner. Mm. Hey, this time I last smoke. I'm not too calm. I'm not Okay, should I? You want me to come? Yes, please. Okay. okay, okay. I'm gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna what come. The fuck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, yeah. What the fuck? I'm fuck? gonna come. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm gonna come, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. We are so sorry. We are fucking up your show. Nah, this is fine. This is One, two, three. Take. It's called show yeah. business, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're telling us about the new podcast? Yes, my podcast is gonna involve a little bit of what you just saw right now. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I don't have to explain any further. Just tune in and make sure you don't miss out because the new Lord Godmother is gonna be with you all the time. And we out. <laughs>